Oh my goodness. <laughs> you gonna hold that plate down for me? Can we tell the difference between Walmart Great Value Cheddar Wow Canned Cheese Spread and Clover Value Snack Cheese Cheddar Cheese Spread out of a can? He's ready for it and he might even jump the gun and just do it ahead of time. I'm ready for it, but are you ready for it? Well, we hope the answer is yes, because welcome to the Miko Mouse Show and welcome to the first episode of our Walmart Great Value Canned Cheese Spread versus other canned cheese spreads video series thing was that a lot that was a lot he's gonna tell you which plate is his favorite and i'm gonna tell you which plate i think is walmart great value because as you know or maybe you don't know we buy a lot of walmart great value stuff with that said let's do the thing take a little bit from me not too much because i know you like your cheese spread and then a lot of bit for you a little bit for me and then i guess i don't really have to <laughs> move that i'll just kind of spread that for you Nice. Are you paying attention? Are you paying attention? All right, that one came off of that plate. That one belongs on that plate. And let's do visual. So, visually speaking, these two cheese spreads are very similar. I did kind of mess them up when I was transferring them, but the nozzle shape, or the shape of the nozzle, I mean, they're, they're basically the same. Uh, Texture-wise, you probably can't tell, but really the difference is, that's kind of gross. We got cheese flying everywhere. So really, the cheese that came off of this plate is a little bit more like wet and creamy. The one that came off the plate on your left is a little bit more chunky and a little bit less wet. That's the major difference. Now there is also a slight color difference where the one that came on the plate he's licking right now is a little bit more kind of like a dull pastel color. And the one on, on this plate is a little bit brighter, like more vibrant. What is a cheese orange, right? Cheese is orange usually. Yeah. So. Really, that's the main difference. With that said, when he's done doing his thing, I'll do my thing, which my thing is tasting cheese. So yeah, gotta wait for him to be done doing this because the plate will go flying though. So stand by and we'll get right back with you. Yeah, you got that. You got it. It's still a little bit there. It's kind of gross. Could you clean that up? Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, you got that. Yeah, there you go. There is still a little bit left, but uh, it was close enough. It was good effort. Are you done? Can I do my thing now? Are you cool doing my thing? I still gotta do my thing, so you don't have to like pick right now. Just like think about it. Just really think about which one. Yes, okay, I'll do mine. I'm gonna taste the one that came off the plate on your left. Mmm. Mmm, okay. Pretty good. Oh, very like musty, cheesy flavor. All right, yeah, I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. All right, I'm gonna taste the one that came off that plate. Mm hmm. Mmm. Whoa. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you gonna hold that plate down for me? I'll tell you what I think while he licks this plate and cleans up. So <laughs> there's actually a really big difference, which is really surprising because both of these are generic brands. The one that came off the plate that he's licking right now is very like musty, cheesy flavor, and you don't get a ton of like actual cheese flavor. The one that came off that plate over there is like, you get a little bit of that mustiness at first, and then also it's like, pow! You get like actual cheese flavor. Like if you ate a slice of cheese, you know the cheesy flavor that the cheese gets. You know, that's the flavor. You prefer this one. I totally disagree with you, but that makes sense because he likes the really musty kind of like really, you know, ugh, like in your face type of flavor. I'm more, you know, cheesy flavor. So do you want me to flip this one and we can see what it is? I think this one is not Walmart great value, which would make this one B. And the reason I think that, okay, we'll flip it and I'll tell them why. Okay, so I was totally right. This one is B, this one is B. Did you see that? You don't have to look away. That makes this one A, which is Walmart great value, just to triple check. Yeah, so it's A. We weren't pulling any fast ones on you. So the reason I picked this one as B and that one as A is because Walmart has really good generic stuff. And this one, like when I tasted them right next to each other, you could definitely tell that this one, it tasted more high quality because it actually tasted like cheese. This one, whoa, this one tasted more kind of like, I don't know, like someone's doing an imitation or something, but they're not putting a ton of effort into it. So, you know, Clover Valley, I'm not saying, not saying nothing, I'm not making any judgment calls. I'm just saying that this one was, it felt like more effort was put into it. I, okay, so you do prefer that one still, which is good. Uh, once again, makes sense. I prefer that one, but uh, to each their own. And uh, yeah, what did we learn? We learned that you prefer 
the very, um, how do we say, aggressive, uh, musty, strong flavor. Let's just say strong flavors is what, yes, we, we do. I will pat the ball. Shall we do the outro? I will take that as a yes. Ooh, we'll see you in the next one. Ooh, we'll see you in the next one. Ooh, we'll see you in the next one.